Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to create a personality test for your WordPress website with the IcePro QuizMaker plugin. So, let's get started. Before we dive into today's video tutorial, I want to give a quick shout out to Cloudways. Uh, that is the hosting platform we personally use and highly recommend. Uh, if you have ever felt overwhelmed by technical hosting setups, uh, Cloudways takes all that stress away. Uh, their platform is super user-friendly and everything is designed to be done uh, with just a few clicks. Uh, with their clean interface and uh, one-click features, you can launch servers, set up staging websites, create backups and more. Uh, all without any complicated setup. We love how smooth and intuitive it is uh, and the performance has been rock solid. Uh, so if you are looking for fast, reliable and easy to manage hosting, especially if you are not super technical, uh, Cloudways is definitely worth checking out. Uh, so I will drop the link below uh, so you can explore it to yourself. So let's get back to our personality quiz and uh, here you can see the demo for it. Personality quizzes are a great way to entertain your website visitors and also learn more about them and their preferences. Here you can see the quiz, let's click start and uh, start filling in the answer options. Uh, we choose the answers to see what uh, personality type I have. Let's wait. And here is the result. Based on my uh, answer choices, I am friendly. Uh, this is a short description about the personality type and also you can uh, see here uh, media attached. So let's go to the dashboard and learn how to create such a personality quiz together. Here is our WordPress website where I have already installed and activated the QuizMaker Pro version. You will need to have the Pro version to create such a personality quiz. And also I have already created a personality quiz so as not to waste your time. Uh, so let's start from the questions page. We go to the questions. Uh, and here you can see the questions we have already added. Uh, let's open uh, two questions and check uh, how they look like and what settings you will need to configure. Let's open these two ones, for example. Here is the first question. As you can see, you can add a question image. Uh, you, here you will need to provide a question. For example, what's your perfect Friday night? Uh, I have chosen the radio question type and here I have added answers with images. Um, what is important in uh, creating a personality quiz is that you will need to configure the keyword system. Uh, each keyword refers to one personality type and then you will need to configure the keywords for the intervals option on the results page, which I will uh, show later in the video. So you will need to assign uh, one keyword for each uh, answer option, A, B, C, D, or you can choose any keyword you like. And what is important here is that uh, you will need to uh, select any of the answer options as correct. Uh, and this is just a technical step so that you can close the question and uh, go ahead with creating next questions. Uh, choosing any of the answer options as correct will not mean that uh, your quiz must have correct and incorrect answers. You will just need to do this for as a technical step. Uh, and uh, as, is, as this is a personal uh, personality type test, uh, there, is, there are no correct and incorrect answers. Uh, so let's check again uh, the second question. And here the uh, steps are the same. Here is the question. You can add an image, uh, choose the radio question type. Uh, and here you can see the answer options of the second question. Uh, and also I have uh, configured the keyword system and uh, you will need to choose uh, one of the answers as correct. For example, uh, this one so that you can close the system and go ahead. And also I have chosen the question category as personality. So uh, you will need to do the same for all the uh, remaining uh, answer options and questions. Uh, also here you can see the settings, advanced ones, uh, for example, you can provide a question, hint, explanation, uh, no text, etc., whatever you want. Uh, let's also go to the quizzes page and check the quiz I have created. Here it is, the personality quiz. I have provided a title, added an image, uh, also I have written description. Uh, take this free psychological test and find out more about who you are and your strengths. 
Uh, here I have chosen the quiz category and inserted the questions I have created on a questions page here by clicking on the insert questions button. You can add an unlimited number of questions uh, to the quiz. Let's go to the styles tab where you can customize the styling of the quiz. You can see a great number of uh, features and functionalities you can use. Also, there is a custom CSS option where you can write your desired your custom CSS and uh, achieve your desired uh, specific styling results if there are any. Uh, let's go to the settings and here you can see uh, different settings related to the quiz. Uh, like you can enable randomization for questions, answers, etc. And what is important here is that uh, you will need to uh, disable the show correct answers from the settings as it's a personality test and there are no correct and incorrect answers. Uh, you will need to untick this option so that uh, the answer options will not be marked as correct and incorrect during the quiz. Uh, then let's go to the result settings tab. Uh, and here you can see I have correctly configured the result message. Uh, I have written uh, some information like if you want to create your own personality quiz, uh, read the article or watch the video and I have added a button to download the Quizmaker plugin. So the result message option is developed by a, a WP editor so you can add your desired HTML or anything you want uh, to the result message. So let's go ahead and here you will need to enable the height score option so that the score will not be displayed at the end of the quiz. And let's scroll, scroll down to the most important part, which is the intervals option. Here you can see I have configured the intervals by keywords. And also here I have provided text for each intervals. And as you can see, also I have uh, provided HTML code here. Uh, you can click here, open editor and add your desired uh, HTML codes uh, or CSS, whatever you want, as uh, it's, uh, the plugin uh, gives this uh, chance to customize the interval messages the way you want. Here you can see I have added two key, uh, four keywords, A, B, C, and D, and uh, provided a text accordingly. Here, if the user chooses the answer options referring to the A keyword and appears in the A uh, interval, the user will see workaholic text and uh, this um, result message. If the user chooses answer options that uh, refer to B keyword mainly, then the user will see friendly text. Uh, and the same goes for the C and D keyword. That means based on the uh, user's uh, answer choices during the quiz, uh, the corresponding message is displayed uh, to them. So as we are done with the intervals feature as well, let's uh, go ahead. And here we can go to the user data tab where you can enable the information form option and collect usernames and emails or uh, what data you prefer. You can also gather custom details like for example, gender etc uh, here you can uh, tick and uh, set the information form before quiz or after quiz or you can disable it if you don't want to show it uh, for example uh, you can set it uh, before quiz and um, insert the uh, name and email uh, fields in the active fields also here you can um, gather phone number if you want and for that you will need to drag the field and drop it to the active fields from the available fields uh, for this quiz, let's uh, disable it, but you can uh, enable it if you want for your personality quiz. So once the changes are made and uh, we have created a personality quiz, it's time to show the quiz on the front end. And for that, uh, you will need to save the changes at first. To display the quiz on the front end, you will need to just copy the quiz ID, then go to the post, add new post. Here and uh, you will need to paste the short code here and write a title, for example, personality quiz. And you can publish your post. Let's click on the view button to see how the quiz looks like on the front end. Here is the quiz. Let's fill in the answer options. And here is the result, family man. This is the interval uh, text I have specified, the media I have attached, and also here you can see the result uh, message text uh, displayed on the result page of the quiz.
So we are done with creating great uh, personality quiz with the Icepro Quizmaker plugin. Uh, I will surely leave the uh, website of the uh, Quizmaker plugin uh, in the description of the video so you can uh, check the plugin, explore its wonderful features and uh, go on and create your own personality quiz. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell not to miss further uh, WordPress tips and tutorials. Bye-bye!